Hugh Downs could do it all. He played guitar, he swam with the sharks, he flew planes, but most of all, Hugh Downs was simply there on our TVs more than anyone else. Hugh got into broadcasting simply because he needed a job to help support his parents. So he became an announcer at a tiny radio station in his home of Lima, Ohio. After service in World War II, Hugh went back to radio and made it to the big time, Chicago. This is Hugh Downs inviting you to be with us again next week for another in our series on the Negro in Democracy. Destination Freedom. WMAQ Radio was owned by NBC, and they put Hugh on their brand new TV station in Chicago. In Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Yep, a puppet show. Good training for political interviews. For years, Hugh was the voice off camera. Then in 1957, he was brought on camera by Jack Parr, at the time the host of The Tonight Show on NBC. In 1960, Hugh got a lot more camera time than he bargained for after Jack quit the show. It was in protest of NBC censors editing out one of Jack's jokes without telling him. There must be a better way of uh, making a living than this. Hugh hosted the show himself until Jack came back 25 days later. When the Tonight Show gig ended, Hugh was asked to move to the other side of the clock. Good morning, this is Today, the second day of our week in Washington, Tuesday, November 4th. The Today Show would also pair Hugh up with a very familiar partner. Today reporter Barbara Walters toured Manhattan last night. Here is her report. In something you would not see from a news host today, Hugh continued his side gig, game show host. And in something else we aren't supposed to do these days, Hugh was a master at selling you stuff. For example, the 69-cent 12-ounce bottle of Rexall Milk of Magnesia. In 1978, ABC News was trying out a brand new magazine show. Harold Hayes and Robert Hughes. I'm Hayes. And I'm Hughes. And they stunk. So, ABC News recruited... Hugh Dow. Good evening, I'm Hugh Dow. Yeah, that's right. In the beginning, he did not say, Good evening, I'm Hugh Downs, and this is 2020. The show would become synonymous with Hugh Downs until 1984, when 2020 would again pair him up with an icon. They'd be together until Hugh Downs retired in 1999. Well, he did sort of come out of retirement later. You saved those kids' lives, Mr. Downs. All in a day's work. Remember, if you ever need me, just blow this whistle or call John Stossel's cell phone. Hugh Downs away! What I said earlier about Hugh Downs being on TV more than anyone else, that was not a joke. He was in the Guinness Book of World Records for that achievement. Sadly, he lost the title to a fellow named Regis. Even more sadly, Hugh Downs is now gone. But perhaps it isn't as sad as we think. Not only did Hugh Downs live an incredible 99-year life, he chose to say goodbye in the year 2020. And that is 2020 for tonight. We thank you for joining us. Remember, we're in touch, so you be in touch. Ray Steele, RTV6.